hi there welcome back and thank you for tuning in so i will be doing i will be trying a new makeup brand today this this is not new but it's new to me this is lakura beauty from aldi so i've been wanting to try their cosmetics as they are really affordable and i've heard good things about them as well so finally today i will try them on with you and i will be doing a short story time as well so what i have is their foundation this is their lakura beauty foundation in with spf 15 medium coverage for flawless complexion long lasting hydration paraben and oil free so this one is retailed for like four dollar something when i got this one out in aldi which is really affordable this one is in ivory um ivory shade one one there so that's it and i also have their um lipstick so they also have liquid lipstick but this time i just chose the um this one here like a crayon pencil and this is in i forgot the shades dusk dusk so this one is around four dollar as well and this one i also have their eyebrow liner so there this is a retractable liner there so this is in brown dark brown is it i think this is in light brown and then i'll show you so actually this one i have used this one one time already there that's how it looks and then last one is there lakura beauty volumizing mascara in black so i don't have um their eyeshadow and blush i don't think they have it well at least in my place in the store they don't have those so i'm just gonna use a different eyeshadow a different brand of eyeshadow for this video okay so i'm gonna start with the foundation of course so if so you won't be bored watching me doing the makeup i'm gonna tell what happened about like a week ago oh, it looks so white though but i think it will blend right away I'm i'm using a wet sponge so I noticed like it will like the sponge will just absorb the color. I don't know if it blends with my skin or it just disappear. I could see the product like slipping away when I do that as you can see. So the thing is I was expecting a parcel but not on that day though. So we went out and then after that uh, well, while we were on the road I received a notification from my camera because we installed a ring um door and you know a ring that the ring doorbell where you could also see the person where there's a camera attached to it as well so whoever comes to your door we, they, it will like notify you so it says like someone at your front door so i check it out right away but the thing is ring has a subscription you need to be subs to have a yearly subscription in order to have um it recorded otherwise you won't see it at, only the live one so if you check the camera you can see the live what's going on but not the recorded so once you click what's happening there's nothing there you won't see it it's kind of like useless if you think about it right so we also have another camera installed just in front we put it in the window facing outside of the house so this is the door and here is the window here so there are two cameras in it plus the garage so when we check the one in the window we could see in the recorded that a recorded um, footage that um, a courier truck actually pulled over in front of our house and we could see the person a delivery guy walking towards although the camera could only see up to in this angle could no longer see where is that man going but upon thoroughly checking it we could really see that he went he went straight and then he went there like into our door and when we um, put the the volume higher of that camera, we could hear the doorbell. So he actually rang the doorbell in our house. And while he was walking towards our home, he was bringing a box. And when he went back, he went back without it. So that means he dropped that package into our door. By the way, the foundation is actually doing good though. It, got, it has that moist, like it, your face looks moisturized and fr fresh after. I like it for a medium co coverage. It's not bad. And then after that, a few minutes, there is another notification from the doorbell that says like, there's a motion in your front door. Just a few minutes after that person came and dropped 
the package but again i could not see who that is or what is going on because it is not recorded and we could not see it in our other camera as well so i think that's enough blending so when we get home i checked i went so we went into the garage so i went straight to the front door right away and check the parcel but when i when i check it it's not there so i was kind of like terrified word i don't know when i see that there's nothing there so i was thinking where did it go i was really sure that the person dropped it in there but it's not there i look around the side and the grass bush maybe he hide it but it's not there usually the delivery guys they would just put it in the doorstep but it's not there so now i'm gonna use their eyebrow so i was really had a bad feeling that it was that second notification first someone as at your door that was a delivery guy and then the second one it says there is a motion i think that was it but i was really like mad and disappointed like i could not see it from our camera what's the point of having a camera if it's not even recorded you can see what has happened but when i was checking the package the tracking because there was there is a tracking number with the package that i was expecting it still says in transit so i was confused if it's still in transit then what was that person delivering to us because i'm not expecting other package or maybe they just have not um updated it yet because sometimes they fail to update like the tracking even if you got it already it would still stay in transit I really got worried though because we I keep going through the footage again and again but it could really I re, I'm really sure that that person really went into our door really went um really dropped something a package in our door but like where did it go I'm worried because that package is like a PR package it was sent to me for free by a company for a review and that day I was just communicating with them they were following up like if i have received the package and i told them that not yet it's still in transit and they even checked the tracking themselves and told me like yeah it's still in transit and then later that day it was delivered and then gone like how am i going to so to like explain to them like i got the package but it's lost it's been stolen like that even sound believable they might think that i'm not i'm just lying and i'm just trying to take advantage of their free products that's what i'm really worried about so now i feel like it already sink into my mind that the product is i mean the package is stolen someone really took it from the door that's that's the one that the camera was notifying us that someone is in the door again but whoever that person is that's the problem who took it because i couldn't see it in the camera so that's it for the brows as for the eyeshadow um lakura or aldi does not have any so i'm just gonna choose a different eyeshadow and this is from macy's this is their color color riot eyeshadow and face palette there so i will be using this one here okay so now where was i i forgot now okay so we check out by the way we live in a unit unit house like an apartment and there are only three houses in this unit and then we are the first one so this is us and there is another house and there is another house so there's like two other houses beside us so this is our house and the entrance and the exit is just here there's no other entrance or any other way you can come in inside come in and out the vicinity and we the camera on our window is facing that one so whoever comes in and out in that area there we can see it from our camera so we check the the time the camera has been recorded the one in the window it rec records only the doorbell the ring doorbell does not so the one in the window facing the entrance and exit we check it from that time the person um dropped the package until when we arrive but no one came in and out except the driver so i was we are really thinking that it's just the name between these two houses because there's no one else no other houses in the vicinity just the three of us and no one came in and out so those two neighbors on our side i am really suspecting them suspecting them so i was really stressing out already i was so mad i don't know what to do because i cannot i don't know i want to ask them knock on their door i don't know these people but 
how am I supposed to ask them, tell them? They might be mad or upset. Like, why what are you trying to like? They might be like, are you accusing us of stealing your stuff or something like that? I don't have any evidence because the camera in the door, the doorbell is not recording anything. So there is no like evidence. I don't know how am I am going to ask. Uh, what am I going to say as well to the company who, who sent me that? Because if I'm going to tell them I did not receive the package it will show on the tracking that it's delivered so i cannot tell them like it's just gone or stolen so i was really upset that someone would actually do that stole steal other people's stuff steal other people's package i'm thinking what if we're gonna bait them what if next week or next two weeks let's say i'm gonna put some box there and put some ugly stuff inside and let's see what we're gonna do or I might write a note. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> I know you took it and put it in those two mailbox there because I know it's just between them, those two houses. Then I'm gonna have this one here. I'm gonna use pink, a little pink. So I'm really pissed because I hate it when something bad happened and there's nothing you can do. There should be something that needed to be done. I keep checking the tracking as well and strangely, it's still in transit. So I'm really thinking what is happening. I was not able to sleep right away on that night because I keep thinking I was so upset. I don't know what to do. I was thinking maybe I'm going to contact the courier in the morning and ask them, confirm them what's happening with the package. Is it delivered or is it still in transit? Maybe that's the best thing that I could do for now. But even how upset I am, I am still thinking of another positive way. Why that someone, why that neighbor took my parcel? So I'm thinking, what if the guy just mistakenly put the package on my door? What if that really belongs to my neighbor and maybe my neighbor took it because it's hers? That's what I also tell that to my husband, although it's something that is quite far. But I'm still far from like the what actually happened, but maybe it's not impossible, right? I'm thinking hopefully that's the case and my parcel is still really in transit. So in the morning when I woke up, I go um, downstairs right away and my husband is already there um, sitting. And then the first thing he told me when I came is like, I think the package really belongs to her. So now I'm going to use this eyeshadow from Coringo brand, Shabam Shabam eyeshadow palette, which I got from YesStyle. So I'm just going to use this one, this glitter here. Okay, so after that, I told him, like, what, what do you mean belong to her? What are you talking about? And then he showed me, like, a piece of cardboard, a piece of box where where the, the details, you know, when you got a package in the box, there's, like, something that would stick. You will stick in the, um, the courier will, um, it's something like this. I'm going to show you. Okay, so there, that's what he showed me. And then he say, like, I went through, how did you get that? I asked him and he said, I went through their garbage this morning. So I was shocked, like, what? You did that? Why did you do that? I was like nervous, like, because I'm thinking, what if they saw him doing that? And he say like, no one sees me. I went through there early in the morning. I went through her because we each have our own garbage that is, that, that is just outside our house. So he said he went through there and he saw that box, like exactly this, that looked like the one that delivery guy is holding there are like pieces of boxes already i think she already ripped them off like flattened them so they would fit in the garbage but she he saw the front one that with the name so it's the name and her it, it's her address and the name well i don't know what's her name but it's not my name so maybe that's hers and the name of the courier is also written there so i searched right away that courier what is their uniform the uniform of that courier also exactly is the same one that guy is wearing so i am now 90 percent positive that yes i was right i think that was her parcel i think the guy um the delivery guy mistakenly put her package in my doorstep and maybe she is also expecting it that day maybe she's looking out for it maybe when it says like the, the tracking it's been delivered maybe she went outside and looked around and maybe she saw the package is in my door it's in her name and address so she took it so yeah, i love the glitter so basically she didn't steal it because it's hers and i'm just gonna use this mcqueen new york eyeliner um, which i got as well from 
yes style i like this one this is really so pigmented so anyway i was so i was really happy i was a little relieved because finally um i feel like it's it's not my package it's hers so but the question now is like where so where is my package so that means maybe the delivery the the one in tracking is correct that my package is still in transit and then after while we are talking about it the door the door uh, the doorbell rings again i was really nervous i was like who's that we're not expecting anything and i'm not expecting any delivery that day because it was holiday so i was scared i thought like maybe that's the neighbor maybe they they're here to confront us like why what i why are you going through their personal stuff their garbage what are you gonna say to them so my husband opened the door and it was a delivery man it was a courier and this time he delivered my parcel finally my parcel in my name and address so i'm going to curl my eyelash so after that a few minutes when i check the package yeah, it's mine this is the one that i'm expecting for and then a few minutes after that they they already um updated it to delivered so now i'm gonna use this lacura beauty Vols Vols volumizing mascara so i will try this one on so i was so happy guys and i felt so relieved imagine i almost accused my neighbor of like stealing my package well he really did took that package in my door though but it belongs to her so that's fine i'm just wondering how come that courier guy confused our houses there's only three houses he's trying to deliver the second house so that means in three houses the second should be the one in the middle but why did he put it on our door in fairness i like their mascara it's clean there isn't much clumping though and i could actually see my eyelash in it because i have a very short eyelash this is just around six dollar from aldi so now since aldi does not have in my place does not have um, blush as well so i'm just gonna go back to macy's um color riot face and eyeshadow palette so i'm gonna use this one here for my blush okay, so that's it guys for the st my story time by the way <laughs> quite funny because of the stress that i was having was so mad at that time and good thing like still got my package so and she also got hers it was just like a mistake really on the courier side and after that we already renewed our ring subscription because it's really helpful if you have a camera and better so you could really see what's going on in your house when you're not there because i know that it is really happening in other places as well when their package gets stolen by somebody because it never happened to me before. I always love online shopping. I always got my stuff get delivered. And they most of the time, I always let it um, left in my doorstep. Because I don't like going to the post office whenever I miss it. So Also now, because of the COVID, they're doing a contactless delivery. Which means they won't do signatures anymore. They are just going to leave it in the door. So yeah, let's just be vigilant with our stuff. So now we're down to the last step, and that is their lipstick. This is their um, moisturizing lip balm. It's actually a lip balm, not a lipstick. But let's see. But there is still a little bit of color in it. It isn't your transparent lip balm. It is like a tinted lip balm. Lip balm. Lip balm. So that's it guys for our simple fresh makeup look using Aldi's brand as Aldi's Cosmetics Sakura. So I love the foundation actually it's giving me a dewy fresh look. Also their mascara also nice and they're all very affordable. And that's it for my story time as well. Story time. Story time as well. I hope you did enjoy that and thank you all for watching.